for those who are new here and don't understand certain words that I use, here in this video I'll explain you my anti-censorship vocabulary. I once made two videos on the topic that I never uploaded on YouTube, but you can see them on the Brighton video platform. So here you can see my Brighton channel. Unfortunately, they won't let me upload here anymore. Here it says Brighton. And just scroll down a little bit. And here it is. Part two, forbidden words. And here's part one, censorship vocabulary. First of all, these ones here of this specific tribe, I call them jaywalkers or jay runners. Jay from the jay people and walk because they always tend to walk or run away. As they ran away from Pharaoh, ran away from the Romans and the so called Holy Land. They ran away from the Spanish Inquisition. They ran away from Switzerland and most likely will run away again from the Holy Land once more. So here it says Jay Walkers or Jay Runners, the Jay from the Jay people, which word I'm not allowed to use. It already happened to me before that when I used the forbidden J word, the machine recognized it and my video got immediately taken off. Apparently, only the Triple M Masters Mega Media may use that word. So, I call them now the Triple M, as you can read here. Triple because of Masters Mega Media. And Triple because it's the concept of three. And the concept of three is them. It's the side of a pyramid. And the side of the pyramid is a triangle that has three corners or three sides. It's the concept of three for the Freemasons. And the concept of four, it stands for the people, you know, because it's the base of the pyramid. It's the square where the animals uh, eat the grass, so to speak. So because it's them, it's the, the triple M, the concept of three. There's also another word being used. I will not pronounce it because the word has become problematic as well due to the censorship. So I just say there's something with stream in it. You know, I know the word, but I, I'm not going to pronounce it. Uh, everything has become forbidden now. So I call them the triple M. I have no problems with the jaywalkers other than that they oppose freedom of speech that much that one can't even call them by their names anymore. Then the place in the Middle East where they live, I call it the JJ Bays. The terrible thing that happened to them during World War II, my anti censorship word is the hole catch. They caught them and put them in a hole. Where that happened, I call it Outwick. Aus in German means out in English and wick because it was wicked. Then these here and main opponents of the jaywalkers in the Middle East who seem to be teaming up with the pink list killers on all the demonstrations. I call them by their biblical name, namely the Philistines. These ones here I call the Nubians. 
their old pharaonic name, which also is an N-word, you might say. And I have no problems with them either. Neither do I have problems with the previous ones, the Philistines, no problem. And again, only because nothing is allowed anymore, I call these ones here the Bohemians. All these words are not uh, bad words for these people. I have no problems with all these peoples or tribes, which I'm showing here. It's only because I don't want to take to have my videos taken off. It's only to go around the general censorship of the West. Then these ones here, who are doing appeals for violence, like them saying, kill the patriarchy. I call them pink list killers because I'm pink listed by them, which is their form of a blacklist. And they want to kill people, like for instance, the patriarchy. And the patriarchy, the word etymologically, it comes from the Latin word pater. It means father. So the patriarchy is um, the group of all the fathers uh, assembled. So they want to kill the fathers, so there won't be any more father who can raise his son or their sons in a way like it should be. So they can raise the sons, you know, without the father and make something else out of them. That's why they want to kill the, the patriarchy. And it even says here, they even want to burn the patriarchy like they did with the, um, the jaywalkers in the whole catch in Outwick. And then there are the four letters for the pink list killers. Well, I've got my own four letters, namely XLBS for, well, XL, you know what that means here. Yeah. And like, if you want to put on a t-shirt, probably not one of these. And you also know what BS, what it means. I'm not going to pronounce it all. So they have their four letters, you know, for their flags and all that. I've got my four letters. So because of the censorship, um, because these ones, they can do whatever they want. As you can see here, you know, they can do an appeal for violence. And I've, I found it in this shop here, this here. And uh, we, can't, we can't even talk about it. And in my other videos on Brighton, they I even showed t-shirts saying this here, kill the patriarchy. And I'm not even allowed to say anything uh, about this and sh surely not against it. You know, because then Pharaoh won't like that very much. Then this attack on humanity, I call it Pharaoh's bug war. And if I don't take another name for it, like I do here, my video will be taken off immediately and recognized by the machine. And remember my videos in which I told you that Pharaoh's bug war started on Friday the 13th of December 2019, exactly eight octagon months after the arson of the Notre Dame Cathedral in Paris, where the Knights Templars were burnt in 1314, right in front of the cathedral. And the remedy they propose, I call it Pharaoh's poison, because videos get removed by merely talking about it and using their vocabulary. Only the Triple M are allowed to talk about it. So these words I've shown you here in this video, and if you are new, I have been using 
for the last years to avoid censorship. So we need our own vocabulary. Anyway, I don't want to use their words anymore. So let's make the new people's slang. I mean, if they don't want us to use their words, well, then so be it. That's very simple. We don't need their words. Please read with me here in the image. If their words are forbidden, so be it. We don't need their words anymore.